Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a basic reskin for Rail Simulator 2013. To do this you must have two programs which are RW Tools and RF Bin Tool. You must also have a photo editing software, for example Photoshop or GIMP. Today I'm going to be using GIMP which is free and also I've been using a free DDS plugin which you must have in order to edit the DDS files. The first thing you're going to need to decide is what like you're going to reskin. Um, for the demo I'm just going to reskin a class 47. So the first thing you're going to need to do, you're going to need to open your assets. Uh, I'll just click on my shortcut to assets. So you'll see the assets list, the RSC and stuff. Uh, you're going to need to uh, click on the QG folder for the class 47, etc. Rail simulator, rail vehicles, diesel, class 47, and then you'll see the, f the liveries. So I'm just going to create a basic reskin. So I'll just control C on the BR folder and then control V the folder so then I'm going to rename it I'm just going to do demo reskin and just click off that so you see that then you can minimize that we need that later so just and then you're going to need to launch RW tools which is a free program uh, for 21 times after that you have to make a small donation let's so launch that then you see that so to open the bin files you need to do files open file and then go to, to your assets and then go to the folder which we need so rail vehicles again diesel fast 47 demo rear skin engine and then you'll need the bin, the bin file so class 47 br and click the bin file there click on that let's wait for it to load so here you go in here are the coding wording in it so you see class 47 large logo there so we need to change that for the internal name. We should do class 47 demo reskin. Capital R. And then just control C and then take that out. Control V. Take that out again and control V. You can do that for all the languages if you want. There you go. Uh, one last thing you need to change for a basic reskin is the geometry ID file or words. Uh, to do that, you can either search for a geometry ID or what I'm going to do is just scroll down until you see it. There we go, just, uh, just above uh, collision geometry ID, geometry ID there. So you see the file structure, QG, rail simulator, rail vehicles, diesel, class 47 etc. So when it, where it says BR you'll need to change it to the file which we copy and paste and rename which is in my case demo reskin and if you forgot what the folder structure is for yours uh, you can see it right there so you'll see the name demo reskin and you'll need to put it there. So once you, you're happy you've done that you can file and save then once that's done you can close down RW tools. Once you close down RW tools, uh, you can launch RS Bin Tool which is free, which was made by Ben Laws and is available on UK Train Sim for free. So you're gonna need to do file, open, open says file, and then you're gonna need to go to the demo reskin folder. So Kuju again, rail simulator, rail vehicles, diesel, line 47, demo reskin engine and you'll need to click textures and then you can see the list of textures here so we're going to need the main body one so that's class 4701 there you see the bases of the class 47 the front and the sides then once you're happy that's done uh, you can click DDS tool export DDS data and then you'll see the file structure up here so then you'll need to choose the name so we do main body one they let's delete exported so click OK minimize RW tools and you only need to launch GIMP which is a free photo editing software but you'll also need a free DDS plugin in order to make it work. Just wait for that to load and then file open and then that uh, 
steam steam apps common railworks assets and then go to our folders again kuju rail simulator rail vehicles diesel class 47 demo reskin engine textures and then you'll see the main body one which you just named so we'll click on that and then once it comes up here you'll see load DDS and you do not want to load mitmaps so click OK and then if it's like your if it's like mine and you can barely see the actual logo uh, you need to go on layer transparency threshold alpha and then this will load and then you need to go that to zero and then you'll see it will be up here so click OK and you'll see it's in full colour now you need to get the toolbox out so uh, we just draw a quick smiley face on it uh, pick the colour pick green so put a rather odd face but still and then once you're happy you've reskinned it to what you wanted uh, you'll need then to go to file and then export and then you can change the name so we do main body um, done just say and then export and another box will open which is save as DDS and now you see the compression you've got a few options there uh, to find out the compression um, go back to RS bin tool and open that and you can see the compression which is DXT3 so minimize that again and then DXT3 and then the option for mitmaps and then you'll do general mitmaps so press OK and then you can either close down and just minimize GIMP so close that down or minimize it and then pop back open RS bin tool and then back to DDS tool import DDS data and you'll see main body done so click on that let's say it's successfully imported and then you'll see our little smiley faces there there you go, uh, once you're happy that's done you can then click file, save and then you can minimize that and then you need to go back to your assets folder in railworks and then to Kuju rail simulator and then you see the pack file at the bottom uh, so you need to delete that and then you can close that down and then we shall launch railworks just about to launch Railworks now. Right, uh, once you've launched Railworks, um, we just make a quick free round scenario. Right? So we go to the uh, wagon shop, which new route I'm making, a uh, new scenario, free row, just give it a random name, and then just wait for that to load. Okay, so the route's loaded now, so we can now lay down the class 47. So I pin those, and then go into a Lyco list, and then wait till you see class 47 demo reskin. And then on that side, we can see our two odd faces, and that's really how to create a basic reskin in Railworks. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments, feel free to comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.